name's Joe, and I work at St. Matthew's Church with Reverend Jim. Sometimes waiting is it's just the worst. Minutes can feel like absolute hours. I know that when I put a pizza in the oven, those 20 minutes feel like five hours. Sometimes hours can feel like days. I remember when, when I was younger, when I was a child, and my friends were coming over to play, I would sit in my living room window for hours before they were due to arrive, just staring out of the window, looking down the road, waiting for their mum's car to turn onto our street. And those hours felt like days. And sometimes days can feel like a lifetime. If you're waiting for Christmas, or your birthday, or the end of a national lockdown, it can feel like absolutely forever. I remember when I was young, my mum and dad said I had to wait until I had grown up to get a dog. And I had to wait 23 years. Perhaps you're waiting to be uh, older so you can be a bit taller. Perhaps you're waiting to be older so you can drive a fancy car. Perhaps you're waiting to be uh, older so that you can have a cool job like being a vicar. Or perhaps you're just waiting for the end of the day or the end of the week or waiting for your next holiday. Or maybe you're waiting for your chance to make the world a better place. There are things that you could do right now to help with those things that you're waiting for. You could start saving your pennies and one day you might be able to buy a car. You could work really hard at school and get involved with things that you're passionate about. And one day you might have that really cool job that you really enjoy. But there are things you can do right now to make the world a better place. Right now! You can be kind, you can be helpful, you can ask people how they're doing, you can talk to people who are lonely, you can just love people. And you can do all of these things right now to make the world a better place. And you can do even greater things when you're older. Christians talk about being Christ-like, and that's about uh, trying to do things that Jesus would do and think like Jesus might think and act like Jesus might act. And it's not about being perfect because nobody's perfect, but it's about trying your best. Trying your best to, to show people that they are loved and that they are cared for. And we don't need to uh, wait until we know everything to try and be Christ-like. We don't need to wait until we've read and memorized the whole Bible or been to church a thousand times. We can, we can do these things right now while we're still learning and while we're still growing. And you can do it too by uh, being friendly to people who don't seem to have many friends or by helping people who seem to be struggling or by just loving everyone that you meet. It's not always easy and in fact sometimes it is very, very hard. But when we try our best to love everyone that we meet, the world becomes a, a happier, brighter, more lovely place. So why wait? Start today. I'm going to pray for us now. Uh, you can join in if you like. You might like to put your hands together and close your eyes. You might like to say amen at the end, or you might like to just sit and listen. Loving God, thank you for the example that you gave us in Jesus. Thank you that he loved everyone that he met. And thank you that he showed everybody that they were cared for. God, help us to love everyone that we meet, whether they are lovable or not. 
God help us to care for everyone that we meet, even when it's difficult. God help us to do this now, not waiting until we're older, so that we can start to make the world a better place right now. Amen.